Since my ChatGPT video got quite popular, I thought maybe I should do it one better. So in this video, rather than having GPT-3 do it, I got access to the brand new GPT-4 and had it make me a game again. Make sure to stick around till the end to figure out where the game is released. So just like last time, I started out by asking it what game I should make. And since there is a limit to the amount of messages per 3 hours, I decided to be rather specific. So the prompt I gave it was, please give me 5 unique and fun game ideas for single player games that could be created in Unity in less than 1 hour. And once again, I really like the creativity it came with and the fact that it even names the games. All of these games sound like fun twists on existing concepts, so I decided to go with number 4, which was Bouncing Ball Bonanza. The description states, a game where players control a bouncing ball and must reach the goal by navigating through a platform filled level. I also asked it to list the elements that need to be made for this game and they are as follows. Ball physics, player input to control the ball, platforms with varying heights and properties as slippery and sticky, a goal, timer to encourage quick level completion and a simple UI to show the timer. From here I asked it to provide a description of the required setup for each element as well as any necessary scripts and it really just delivered. So I followed the instructions to set up the ball physics using Unity's own 2D physics materials and it of course just worked. Now it wasn't that precise here and someone who's brand new to Unity might have to ask more questions already. But since the ball now behaves how I wanted to, we continue to controlling the ball. It asked me to set up a C sharp script and it even explained what the script was going to do and how. But I simply just copy pasted the script and voila, we got movement. Now one thing I would like to note here. When adding physics in Unity, it should be done through the fixed update method and not the update method. The update method calls for each frame, which is obviously not good with physics. That means that the more frames, the more and the faster the physics will apply. But anywho, we move. At this point, I could feel that the mood of GPT-4 fell a little bit. I asked it what was wrong and it told me that you, the viewer, hasn't liked and subscribed yet. This is of course very sad news, so you should go ahead and like and subscribe to make the AI happy again. And also make sure to wishlist my upcoming Steam game. The link will be in the description. Now for real though, onto the platforms and different surfaces. It simply guided me through making new objects and changing the physics materials on those. However, since the bounciness is handled on the ball, we can never make something sticky as to make the ball jump less. And it never instructed me to do otherwise, so this means that the sticky surface won't work. But a bouncy surface definitely works, so I stuck with just that for now. Next, we need a goal to complete the level. It perfectly instructed me to make a collider and make it a trigger. Then simply add the provided script and bada bing bada boom, it doesn't work. Now, instead of using GPT-4 for debugging here, I simply could spot the error from a mile away. It is using the player tag to check collisions, but it never instructed me into giving the player that tag. But I simply went ahead and added it, and now it works as expected. Last thing from the original list is a timer to encourage quick level completion. This really just worked super well. Not much to say, I decided to set it up using the text mesh pro instead of the normal text, but I can't fold it for that. So now we also got a timer that just works. But now this is where things start to get really interesting. I asked it for a bunch more functionality that I wanted in the game. These are a way for the camera to follow the player, a max speed for the player, setup of moving platforms and a way for the player to die and respawn. And just like last time, it delivered with good explanations and script as well. I set up everything and it worked super well. The camera follow script was a little wonky, but by simply having it follow the player very harshly, it works really well. The max velocity for the player worked super well and so did the moving platforms. The reset of the player, however, not so much. It didn't reset the timer, which obviously doesn't make for a full restart. It did however remember to zero the velocity and as well as setting the player back to the spawn position. So after asking it to fix the timer, it simply just worked. There was one minor error, which was the fact that it had set the reset level method to private, but it tried to reach it in another script, which means it should be public. But once again, an easy fix. I also got it to automatically switch level upon completing a level. Now, it did a weird setup here, but to be fair, my description of what I wanted was not good at all. But it does work. At this point, I got tired of looking at basic shapes, so I started inserting some artwork from Kenny.pl, which is a great website for completely free to use assets. I also added some free to use music and asked GPT-4 for a way to make some celebratory text that bounces and changes color. Now, there were a surprising amount of issues surrounding this celebratory text. 
But something super cool happened there. I told it about the issue I had on my console and it apologized for making a mistake and overlooking a fact. That is really crazy to me. The fact that a computer can make a mistake, realize that this is a mistake after analyzing the data again and giving me a new solution. You can't tell me that this is not artificial intelligence. It is quite literally just reconsidering what it has already said. And this is really it. Everything just works. So I started polishing up the game and building some levels, adding a way to mute a sound when the player hits something. And yeah, that's it. I bet you cannot beat level four. The game is out on itch right now and the link will be in the top of the comment section and in the description. I hope you enjoy. Please also go and wishlist my game coming out on Steam called Forging Ahead. The link for that will also be in the comments or in the description. So what's my conclusion? To be honest, not too big a difference is felt by me as a personal user from GPT 3.5, which powers ChatGPT. However, it truly does look like GPT 4 is capable of so much more. And I will say that the general responses and scripting does feel better, more clear and straight to the point in a very human fashion. I still stick to my conclusion from last time, that AI is simply a tool for us humans to utilize and optimize our own workflow with. But maybe in the future we'll be able to make a whole game for me, who knows? If you enjoyed, please do leave a like and subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below, and I just hope that you have a wonderful day.